Howdy guys, um, good to see ya. Uh, so I just finished up an 11 mile training run and it was kind of a long run, um, not really that long, but I'm slightly out of shape and building back. Uh, but I do have big plans in the near future. I'm racing the Sean O'Brien 100K um, in February. That's the first week of February. And I have kind of a history with it. Um, I mentioned before, I've signed up for it three times and still don't have a finish to show for it. Two of them weren't really my fault. Um, first year, I was a little bit injured and I got quite sick the week before the race, so I DNS'd that. And then the next year, I DNF'd. And the following year, there was some terrible wildfires down there and they had to cancel the whole thing. Um, so I got a refund, but obviously that race didn't happen. So yeah, I have a DNS, a DNF, and then a race cancellation. Some people joke that I need to go for the DQ uh, just to tick all the boxes, but I'm not going to do that. My goal is to finish. A little bit of a bummer, the race is no longer a golden ticket race, which is fair. Um, the race had some issues for such a high profile race. But one of the reasons I wanted to do it was so that I could sort of practice and and kind of get a feel for what it would be like to run nine hours or nine and a half hours there and get a golden ticket into Western States. So that's no longer really a factor, um, but it is still a qualifier and I need a qualifier for the 2021 um, Western States drawing. So that's what it's for. Nice to get it out early in the year. So a couple of training objectives. Uh, I want to do some longer long runs. Uh, I did a couple of really long ones in New Zealand, around five hours and, and more. I'd like to do that again. I, don't, I didn't do that in the past. I was just doing like three hour long runs. So longer long runs. The other thing that I think is really critical in ultra running and people don't spend enough time with is experimenting with food and eating. The best race of my last year, I actually ate a gel every 20 minutes for the whole 50K of the race. Uh, so that was 12 gels. And uh, that actually worked pretty well for me, and I want to see how scalable that is. Uh, I kind of doubt that I'll be able to do that for a 10 to 12 hour 100K. There are certainly people who do that. Um, Ian Sharman and Carl Meltzer both pretty much rely on gels even for 100 milers. Um, but a lot of people can't do that because 30 or 40 gels just doesn't sit that well. The answer is probably somewhere in between. Uh, like a gel every 30 minutes rather than 20 plus some food at the aid station or something like that. So I want to experiment with that. Anyway, I digress. Um, this is the video for my training run today. Again, I'm still a little bit out of shape, um, but that's why we train and that's what this was. So. Not feeling super great, but you know, just gotta grind it out if that's what training's for. Oh, nine miles in. I feel way too tired for nine miles. About done. Ten and a half. Okay, done. Eleven miles in an hour and forty-one minutes. A bit muddy. Probably about a thousand feet of climbing would be my guess. Um, fine, but. I feel like it should be easier to run for an hour and 40 minutes. Um, a couple of things are bugging me. I have a blister on my toe. My shoes have about 400 miles on them and starting to feel like squished marshmallows. So I'm kind of over those, but those are minor things. Bottom line is just got to get fitter and uh, just keep building up like a training block is supposed to go. Doing that, I feel like I should mention is uh, Lately I've been, instead of driving to the trailhead, I've been riding my bike to the trailhead. Um, so that's about seven miles round trip, making my runs about a mile shorter. Um, just a little bit of, uh, as Colin Strickland said, being the engine but not the, the drivetrain. A um, little bit of extra fitness without the uh, strain in the legs. And only cutting off a mile because biking really is not that strenuous in terms of energy and uh, 
the other thing too is it just kind of feels good to uh, not use your car for stuff like that just from an environmental perspective it's a little thing but it feels good that so yeah doing some bike commuting all right that's it um, I should be about 45 miles this week not a very big week but like I said I'm trying to get back into shape so uh, yep all right I'm gonna go hop on my bike and uh, ride the three and a half miles home call it good